guys, and welcome to another special edition of Chew and Tell Tuesdays. Well, this week's episode focuses on a very special Pikachu, which I'm sure all of you know who I'm talking about. But everybody always asks me, what's your most favorite Pikachu in your collection? Well, the answer is simple. It's the one and only Chula. Yes, Chula the cookie-loving cosplaying Pikachu. I got her over 10 years ago, and I take her everywhere with me. She's kind of like the Romy Gnome on Tra uh, Travelocity, so she's been many places with me. Um, she's been to conventions, car shows, parades. She's been everywhere, and I think she has more costumes and cosplays than I do now. But I've had her, I think she came out, she was the second electronic Pikachu that ever came out. So I think that came out around 2006-ish, I want to say. But she's been around with me forever. And what started is me taking her everywhere, dressing her up. Um, it started to because when I don't do Pokemon cosplay, a lot of people don't recognize who I am. Say I'm an Itachi or Sasuke or Disney characters or like Leia from Star Wars or any other genre that's not Pokemon. People never recognize me at a con. So it started off where I started dressing Chula up as characters within the genre I was doing. So she's been everywhere. And the story goes, people always ask me her story, so kind of had to make up one like a fanfic. Chula basically is the daughter of Pikachu's, or Ash's Pikachu, right here, Ash's Pikachu, and the granddaughter of Puka. You guys remember that episode, the blue-eyed Pikachu? Well, this is Pikachu. She's the granddaughter of Puka from the Orange Islands episode, the big uh, Pikahuna, I think was the episode's name. And well, they got together in a daycare or wherever, and they had a little Miss Thing up here. <laughs> so, and another story is why is she so tiny? Why is she still the size of a Pichu? Well, as you guys know, when a Pikachu evolves, it evolves from a Pichu through happiness. So this is where this part of Chula's personality came along was, after she was born, she was only basically a Pichu for three hours of her life, and she was near a bakery, and there were some cookies baking on the windowsill and cooling off, so she smelt the fumes and immediately rushed to the windowsill, jumped on it, and ate cookies. So as soon as she did that, her happiness just spiked out of nowhere and instantly she became a Pikachu. So that's why she's relatively the same size as a Pichu, but she's a Pikachu. So that's her little backstory. And yes, I know you want a cookie. There, I got one. There you go. So that's the story of Chula, and yes, she is my most liked Pikachu, I could say, out of the 20,000 I have, because she's been everywhere with me. And that's basically her backstory with her parents. And Yep, she goes to many conventions with me. Right, Chula? Yeah. <laughs> so that's this week's Chew and Tell Tuesday. It's all about Chula. Wish you like that, because she's my prissy little princess Pikachu. So, at the end of this video, I'll show you a slideshow of some really cute pictures of Chula and all the places she's been. So thanks, guys, and have a great week. Bye!